What's up babes and welcome back to my channel. title we are going to be going from our lazy girl era to our productive girl era all right if you are somebody that struggles with like genuinely just like moving day to day or you can't even figure out how to get out of your bed how to create a routine this video is for you if you are new to my channel welcome and i hope that you find this video super informative for you i hope that you want to join this community okay this community is a full of women who are in their early to late 20s and we are genuinely just trying to navigate girl world and trying to navigate how to glow up and how to become better and be our better selves in this world okay? i hope that you are a part of that and I hope that that is something that you want to be a part of and I also hope that you are somebody that genuinely wants to be a part of a community that uplifts and just share advice with each other and that's what I want this channel to be about don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button if you are a returner on my videos welcome back and bring more people okay without further ado we are about to get right into the video all right you guys so we are obviously on a glow up journey okay if you have not seen my last video it will be pinned up above and it basically just talks about like advice on how to glow up and tips on what we can do to become better for ourselves and then today's video is going to be like coming from our lazy girl okay like waking up at 11 or not doing enough throughout the day not using your 24 hours that god bless you with like that is what we are going to get into today so we're going to get right into number one as i just said that like everything is literally on my phone to become more productive throughout the day we're just going to completely give ourselves 30 minutes away from our cell phone that is hard like genuinely i don't even realize that i'm picking up my phone until i have it in my hand all right so and i know that is something that you struggle with as well so we are going to together just spend 30 minutes away from my phone maybe we can read a little 30 minute like read for 30 minutes get a little quick 30 minute class in maybe you need to tidy up your room a bit maybe there's something that we can figure out how, what to do within that 30 minute span away from our phone we're so glued to our phones it's crazy that we genuinely don't know what to do like without it are you talking to me and I know for a fact I am that way. You might be that way as well. And so just spend 30 minutes away from your phone and you will find that that 30 minutes will feel so productive. I actually did it this morning where I was like writing in my journal this morning and like writing down, just kind of actually planning the videos that I was going to be putting out the rest of the month. Just planning out things, writing in my journal, like find something that you want to do for 30 minutes without your phone and get it done try to create that as a routine and we'll get into routines later in another video but like try to make that something that you do every day our next one is so simple but it is so uplifting at the end of the day when you come home to a made bed girl make your bed every single morning coming home to a made bed after a long busy day after a long hard day with the people that you work with that you don't like it would just makes it would just make you feel so much better about yourself about your day when you come home to like sleek a sleek nice made bed okay. just try to create that as a routine as well like do something every try to do that every day like you are go, uh, say to yourself i am going to make my bed every day this week that is such a small win that you will feel so accomplished after that week you'll want to keep doing it and keep doing it turn on your favorite chill playlist and podcast okay like i don't actually listen to like any chill music if i'm listening to music it is just because i want to listen to music at that point but like go on apple music wherever you spotify wherever you listen to your music and and just type in chill playlist um and just listen to that like in the car when you wake up in the morning while you're working out like i feel like that is something that will kind of bring you uplifting spirits as well in a sense of like quieting your mind from all the loud noise that has been going around going on around and that brings me to like listening to podcasts okay i am so much like a podcast girly i've actually become one this summer and i don't know why i wasn't a podcast girly before like i would listen to them but like the little messy podcast you know like angela yee uh -huh. 
messy podcast okay i still listen to it but i've actually been listening to a lot more like uplifting and like very vibes i find those to be so insightful they're so informative and it just makes me feel better throughout the day like I genuinely want to continue listening to that podcast throughout the day. I actually get upset when it's over. As I stated in my last video, I listen to podcasts while I'm driving, while I'm working out, in the mornings, like just whenever I can, just because of how it makes me feel throughout the day. If we're exiting our lazy girl era and we're becoming more productive, we're writing down our monthly goals. Okay, July just started and it is not too late to write down something that you want to accomplish this month and that can be just one thing and then i feel like after you accomplish that one thing at the end of the month you look back on it and you'll see how much you've progressed and you want to continue to do that one thing and you want to add more to that list write down things that you see happening for yourself that month and see if you accomplish them at the end of the month i feel like that will bring you so much joy and another small win that will make you feel better about yourself my favorite one okay you know as a delulu girl we gonna be delulu we're gonna be delulu on this journey okay and when i say delulu i mean to the max manifest the life that you want i have seen so many places where people are just writing in their journals or visualizing their life that they want in the present time so when i say be delulu i mean you can create a scenario where you have been where you are where you want to be in five years and then you're gonna look back at where you were at the beginning of that when you started your journey to now you're five years later where you want to be in life for example i can say that today is july 4th we are going to celebrate independence day i'm staying in my two-story three bed three bath home with my two kids and my husband's on the grill. I'm gonna drive my G-Wagon to the, to the grocery store to go pick up some groceries. My kids and I will pop fireworks in our big backyard. And I did all of this. I created this life for myself by becoming a content creator. I just uploaded a 2.5 million, 17 million view video yesterday. Like, be the Lulu, be delusional and speak that onto yourself okay like create the life that you want to have the next tip is something that i genuinely have been like doing as the summer has progressed this year and i actually feel better about it okay and that is getting up earlier okay i'm not really a 5 a.m girly yet nor am i a 6 a.m girly maybe i'm like a 6 30 like maybe we're 6 30 girlies and that's okay like that is still early enough to get a lot of things done okay being a 6 8 6 30 a.m girly is still a win okay like that's still early enough to be productive like you're gonna make your bed in the morning like maybe get a little quick 30 minute workout in be able to cook ourselves breakfast where before we have been like rushing to do anything okay maybe our pets have like 15 minutes to go outside and do their thing instead of two minutes okay like get up early enough and feel confident about that tell yourself okay i'm gonna get up at 6 30 a.m for a week okay by friday we've done that now monday comes around okay now it's 6 a.m i'm gonna actually try to do 6 a.m next week and i will let you guys know how it is because i'm gonna be doing a video on that so be be just stay tuned just try these things and try to get up early enough to be more productive in your life use your 24 hours wisely and i will speak about that in another tip later on in the video but just use it wisely um create a to-do list okay i actually have done this in creating a to-do list as somebody that is an overthinker or trying to be organized is very helpful and insightful because you can get so much done with that on that to-do list that normally like you probably wouldn't be able to do because like you procrastinated but if you have a to-do list on your phone that is like telling you giving you alerts uh you need to do this first before you go do that like it is so helpful like maybe you have to go to the dentist you gotta film a video you gotta take your dog to the groomers you gotta go grocery shopping like you're me personally like i'm not gonna remember to do any of that but like the fact that we've made a to-do list we are now able to remember because our phone remembered for us the next tip is gonna be consistent okay being consistent may look different for everybody like for example, I have decided that I'm going to be consistent by trying to post every Sunday or 
we have workout girlies that see results because they have been consistent in the gym because they have been consistent in meal prepping and doing things that they know that they're they should be doing for their body so be consistent with everything that we're talking about today make your bed every morning get up at 6 a.m every morning listen to that chill playlist listen to that podcast every day get everything done on your to-do list and then turn around and do the same thing again tomorrow like be consistent create routine if y'all want to how to create a routine video just let me know like I pride by routines. In our Productive Girl era, we're going to optimize our 24 hours, okay? We have 24 hours to get done what it is that we need, that needs to be done. For about six to eight of those hours, we are asleep. So that means that we only have about 16 hours to get done what it is that we need to be done before it's time to go to bed and do it all over again tomorrow. Optimize your 24 hours, try to get a lot done. That is why we are waking up at 6 a.m because most of the time you're able to get done and get things done in the morning and then be able to like be chilled by the rest of the day. So optimize that 24 hours, like don't waste it. We are blessed enough to get 24 hours and to be able to do it again tomorrow. And so the next tip in this video is gonna be to use the five second rule. And I'm not talking about when you drop your food on the floor and you pick it up five seconds later and eat it. No. We're talking about giving yourself grace and then giving yourself five seconds to go and do whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. All right, so if I'm laying in my bed and I'm sitting there and like on my phone scrolling and doling, okay, and then I'm like, ah, oh, I need to go work out, but I don't want to work out. So now I have to get up and give myself five seconds to go and do that before I become lazier. When I say we're leaving our lazy girl, that's what I mean. I spend a, we, I feel like we spend so much time like on our phones, scrolling in our beds. We should be in the gym. I'm big in our backs. Use that five second rule, give yourself grace, use that five second rule, and then go do whatever it is that you need to be, to, that you need to do. As I talked about in the last tip, optimize your 24 hours, use it wisely. I got two bonus tips, okay? And the first one is gonna be going on solo dates. And you know, maybe you don't wanna be around your partner. Maybe you don't wanna be around your friends. Take yourself to the movies. Like, take yourself on a date. Feel okay about that. It's okay for us to have that time to ourselves and not wanna be around people. I feel like as somebody that is like, always around people all day every day we need that time to ourselves so go do that and feel feel okay about it like don't feel bad about needing time to yourself if you are around people that don't want to give you time like you need to change your circle and our very last tip of this video because we are not lazy girls anymore we have become so productive throughout the entire video is gonna be hiding up our space before bed so that can mean like literally you get home and it's time for you to go to bed and just picking up around your room or whatever and this can make you feel so uplifting as well well because when you get up in the morning you're not walking on anything like it's literally just your carpet it's just your floor like you're not stepping over your house shoes you're not stepping over clothes you're not stepping over trash like because we were not lazy and we cleaned up after ourselves and we tidied up our little room if that means that you feel comfortable vacuuming before you go to bed get that vacuum out plug it in and get to going before you go to bed like it's okay i used to not be able to go to sleep without cleaning up my room and that was just a personal preference like there was nothing wrong with me I just couldn't go to sleep in a mess as I've gotten older and you know been through college like that trait has definitely left my body but I'm getting back into it um I actually tidied up my room before I went to bed last night and I felt so good about it because I looked at my floor in the morning and it was just so clean. If that is something that you are going to do, like then that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do to get out of our lazy girl era and be more productive and just become our better selves. That is it for this video. I hope that you guys use all of these tips to become more productive girlies okay we're not lazy it is the middle of the summer and we still have work to do before the summer is over okay that is it and i will see you guys in my next one peace